Happy New Year and welcome to 2012. This is a new episode. It must be Friday afternoon. Therefore, hello and welcome to Learn the Sword on TGN. I'm Dana Abbott and I will be your guide today on deflection and the counterattack. To learn how to block a little bit more efficiently, let's practice a couple of these blocks together. There are four different movements in this block. It's moving out of the way and then coming in for a counter. It's moving to your right and countering. It's moving to your left and countering and of course moving in and countering as far as the blocks go. Both A and B V blocks are in this system. At the very beginning, most everybody has to remember the best block is no block at all. Therefore, if someone tries to attack or swing down into your circle of influence, move out of the way and then move back in with your counter attack. A lot of the times, you might not have time to get out of the way. So the next exercise is move out to your right and then counter your attack. Same with the other side. You have to remember, if you're really good blocking on one side, what about the other? Always mirror your blocks as you would your strikes. Same thing. I go over here on the side with a block or deflection and then I can counter a lot easier. Later, when you start having the ability to move in and out and to the sides a lot smoother, then you'll start seeing where your opponent can start telegraphing or you see him telegraph a lot more at this time. So, from that thought, I want you to keep your sword out there so anytime he throws down something your way, your sword is up there jamming it. The concept is really simple. It is so simple, it's difficult. And the reason why is you don't have to do that much. A lot of people want to make blocking and deflecting much more difficult than it really is. Remember, if you have to think of a very intricate and, and difficult block, it might not be there when you really need it. Keep the blocks, deflections, and interceptions very simple and you'll be able to counter much easier. I hope you have enjoyed this episode on deflecting and the counterattack. Until next week, be well.